Okay, what we're going to discuss on this video is actually the function of a color rec driver version 2. And we're going to discuss how this relates to the display. Usually when you turn the unit, it will come on in 001. And 001 relates to the address. So that's your DMX address. And if you had a DMX input coming in, your DMX light over here would be indicating. And if I go up with my channel, I'll be able to set it to any channel setting I would like to. If it's 0, 0, 001, that is channel DMX1, or 009, DMX channel 9. One thing that we found out, that if you go to DMX value 512, the unit will change color automatically without any DMX. That's function that we found out that will go through solid color automatically, but again, just basic in DMX value 512, unless you have DMX input. Again, I'm going to go up and back into 001. Now, when I click my menu, the menu relates to this print seal screen that you see on the box. And what you're going to get, if I click menu, it basically comes to C01. And C01, what it says over here, fixed color. So I have 20 fixed color that goes from 01 to 20. And those are my fixed color. The first one is red, as you can see. And if I go with my menu up to 2, is basically my red and blues coming up that will achieve a particular pink. If I go with my next color is 03, that is a darker pink. 04 is basically kind of a fuchsia. 5 is a much darker pink. And as you can see, most probably it's shades of color that are being added. 7, 8, it's white I believe, yes. 9 is my blue. 10 is, so it goes from red and basically adds colors into it, feds and, uh, of the different colors that are being added into it and different values, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, and then I got to my green. So it started with red, added the other colors into the red, started with the blue, added the other colors into the blue, green, and then adds other colors to the green, and you get your different colors. And of course, different value, and then you're back at zero, 01, you're back at red. That's as far as C. If I click my menu again, I got to F. F relates to the fed effects. You have nine fed effects that are built in, zero 01 to zero 09. So as you can see right now, the unit is running through a particular fed program. And if I go to zero 02, that's another fed program, zero 03, another fed program. 04, another fed program, and most probably here where the colors are fading from one head to another, as you can see, and this is right now from red, uh, most probably will fade out into green, and so on. I'm going up into five, that's fed through blue, six fed through green, seven, where the other colors on, and then it fetch through the different colors between them, eight, and my nine. And then, of course, we'll default back into the one. So that's basically F. So F is the FED pro program that are built in that are zero, one, two, nine, as you can see on the seal screen. If I click my menu button again, I came to S, and S relates to this particular function that you have on the unit, and basically, S10, if I go up, it will start with 10, is basically control all fixtures in the same mode. That's the default that usually the unit will come programmed with. If I go to 11, basically it control each fixture independently. 20, master, and usually your master will come on here. So if I would go into my menu, and it's basically master off, that but my master on is not off. But if you look at that, my master on is 21. I click that, and then I click menu. At that point, my master light came on, and that shows that my unit is at master. And if I had multiple units connected into it, this unit will control all the other unit according to the function that I would choose on this unit. So if I go into high here, and I select color red, all my rest of the drivers will be doing red. 
and exactly what I'll choose on this unit, all my rest of the units that are connected to my DMX input output will be doing the same thing through this particular driver. That's my master. Keep in mind when it comes default, the master is off. Again, I'll go to my menu. So I'm going to 21. And if I click 20 and I click my menu, I took my master. Pay attention that once I click that, it's defaulting to my DMX value. I have to go back into my menu and select the functions I would like to. So again, menu. And I'm going up to 21. That was the last setting we were at. And then you're basically S30, RGB, three channel. And what that, what that discuss is basically your driver, when you're running it in DMX, it works on a three channel DMX. That means you're able to control from DMX channel one red, channel two green, channel three blue. Now, if you want to change it to a S31, that is RGB dimmer strobe five channel, that means you'll have five channels, that meaning the first channel is red, the second channel is green, the third channel is blue, the fourth channel is your strobing or sp speed, and basically your fifth channel is your dimming. Then you go into basically setting S31. And then I go up into S31, I click menu, and my unit is right now set to accept DMX in a five channel setting. Again, I'll go to my menu, Keep in mind, defaults always to three channel setting. I'm going to go to function uh, S, that is basically controlling my driver setting. And that's strictly discussed in DMX, of course. And I go up to S31. And then my S40 delay off and delay on. That basically relates to how my units react to my other units and how it's going to do that. Uh, and that's S40 and S41. It comes on always delay off. Uh, and of course, if you want to set delay on, you can set it up. That's all the function what you need to know about this drive.